The title of Faith Filled Friday today is Watch Him Work. The reason why I titled it Watch Him Work is because sometimes I feel like God is looking at us and saying, watch me work. Watch me work your miracle out. Watch me work that blessing out. Watch me fix that situation. Watch me do the impossible in your life. Watch me work what it is that you need worked out, what it is that you need maneuvered, what it is that you need done. Watch me work. Because sometimes we're so flustered with the worry and the doubt and everything creeping up that comes in our lives that we don't even understand that sometimes we just got to sit back and relax and watch God work. We got to watch God work it out. We got to watch God fix some things. We got to watch God show us some things by him helping us and maneuvering things and moving things on our behalf. We have to remember the word. And the word says in Romans 8, 28, that and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So you have to watch him work and know that all things are working together for your good. You love God and God loves you. So every single thing that you need done in your life, you have to watch him work because he's working it out for your good. I was reminded by that this week, which is why I'm sharing this with you today. This week I had to get something fixed on my car and it was nothing minor. It was a a minor little fix. And they told me, they said, you know what, Miss Rose? They said, basically what's going to happen is you're going to really just have to pay for the labor because it's such a minor issue. But the labor was so expensive. He said, I don't want to do it. And then you get upset that we went on and did did it and you have to pay this much money. And I said, you know what? I don't want to pay that much money. It's not that serious. But as soon as I got off the phone, I began to doubt. I began to worry. I began to think, maybe I should have got it done. Well, God, I really don't want to spend that much money. And God, maybe I should get a new car. Maybe I should do this. And maybe I should, you know. And then I ended up basically going through a whole financial process and breakdown of what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, when I wanted to do it. And it was just a pipeline of mess. When my car is fine, I don't need a new one. When my car is running and nice, and and the guy even said it's it's a minor problem, but I let that worry creep in, that doubt creep in. I let myself get in the way of God working because that afternoon I got a phone call and the the gentleman said, you know what? Your car is ready. We washed it all up. We have it serviced and ready for you to go, Miss Rose. And I said, okay, cool. And he said, you want to hear the good news? And I said, what's the good news? And he said, the good news is that Somebody pulled the wrong ticket on your car, and when they pulled your car back, the guy went ahead and fixed it. But since you declined it earlier, we have to go ahead and honor that, so we're not charging you for anything. And I just sat back in my chair, and I said, God, you are such a good God. Because here I was formulating all of this stuff in my mind, when all I should have understood was Romans 8.28 said, everything's going to work out for my good. And I'm not saying that this happens in all areas of my life. And we may all have to go through different phases and different things. But God has been good to me. There have been more occasions than this one that God has shown up and shown out in my life. So I am using my testimony and the things that I have gone through to share with you today that all you have to do is trust in his word and know that he's working it out for you. And know that he's looking down and saying, just watch me work. Watch me work on your behalf. See, you had declined it, but I'm going to approve it. See, I had told the man no, but God had already said yes. So I'm here to encourage you on this Faith Filled Friday that God is working things out for you. You just got to sit back and watch him work. I hope you were blessed by this message. And I know that God is moving, maneuvering, shifting, and changing some things in your life. Just watch him work and know it's working out for your good. Keep loving him, keep praising him, keep worshiping him, and trying to walk upright to the best of your ability. And you will see his love and his work manifest in your life. I will see you next week.